माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सुंदर रविंद्रनाथन हियर होप ऑल यू गाइज आर डूइंग सुपर अमेजिंगली वेल गाइज सो टुडे आई एम बैक विथ द काइंड ऑफ अ टॉपिक विच वी आर ऑल यू नो वेरी इंक्विसिव टू नो वट आर द बेस्ट हॉबीज सो फॉर दैट बिफोर आई गेट इन टू इट आई वॉन्ट टू स्पीक अ लिटल और यू नो हेल्प यू विथ सम इनसाइट एज टू वाई डू यू नीड अ हॉबी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट वॉट्स अ हॉबी ए हॉबी इज नथिंग बट द टाइम दैट यू कॉन्शियसली स्पेंड यू जो यू आर नॉट फोर्स देयर you yourself volunteer to spend that time on something which is apart from your primary life which at this point is your study life right so the best part of a hobby is you volunteer you love to do it okay now choosing the right hobby for a student gives a lot of advantages i want you to really listen carefully here the biggest advantage number one is it helps you gain clarity just try and observe yourself when you are in your hobby you are immensely focused it could be any hobby you are a lot focused because you love it the more you keep doing the mind doesn't differentiate between your primary you know life or your hobby right the more you get practice mind starts putting that in your generic life as well so this is the first thing it helps you gain clarity and stay focused the second thing is it makes you kind of a lovely lovely person right See when you whenever you are doing your hobby you are a lot lively right you will be a lot smiling you will be a lot lively because you are enjoying the process and this is the second advantage all right so what is the third advantage with or without your knowledge you start mastering a skill a hobby could you know is possibly a skill without your knowledge as you keep doing it with practice you master it so the third advantage is with you know you master that mastering a skill so these are three very important uh, things that happen to you when you involve yourself in a you know in an amazing hobby right now today i am going to give you insights on five best hobbies for students hand picked for students and there are reasons why these hobbies are so essential and so you know useful let's deal with them in detail one by one Right, guys. You guys are ready. Okay. So before that, yes, this is the amazing team of Vedantu Young Wonders. Myself, Sundar Rabindranathan, Navamita, ma'am, Kumar Manu sir, and Pritesh sir. So these are the subjects that we deal with, and we all work for you, my dear students. Every single day, we think what is required for the students. We brainstorm a lot, and we prepare topics, spend time on the content. and we also think about what is the most effective way in which we can make you listen and implement when you watch our videos so so much work goes on and all for you and we take pride in that we love you all right guys so uh, yes if you like the video please ensure you click on the like button and subscribe to our channel i hope you have already done it in case you have not subscribed please click on subscribe button and enable this bell icon so that you are notified of the updates on a daily basis every single day we we launch two or more videos you will get updates whenever we do that right excellent okay so now this being you know this being the start of your revision season we have launched a lot of micro courses what is a micro course it's a very short chapter level revision done by our the best of our teachers in vedantu and these courses come to you for as low as 11 rupees and you know what today uh there is kind of a a campaign going on today whoever is uh, watching right you can take a clip of that right take a clip of that and uh, send it to us okay uh you will find a, a notification coming on the comment section very soon send it to that id you will find that the courses will be available for as low as 1 rupee right i hope you guys got it amazing guys excellent so make a note of this link and there are 250 plus courses covering almost all the chapters guys okay right we are in telegram my dear students and just install the telegram app to get connected with us type in the search vedantu young wonders you will get our group click on the group click on join group and there you are connected with us right amazing okay first now back to hobbies first hobby 
रिसर्च ऑन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट माई गॉड इज इट अ हॉबी ट्रस्ट मी इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट मोस्ट रिफ्रेशिंग हॉबीज दैट यू कैन डू बी इन बिकॉज आई हैड इट वेन एवर इन माई स्कूल डेज एंड आई फाउंड इट इमेंसली इंटरेस्टिंग यूजफुल सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज डू नॉट यू नो गेट टू मच इन टू अकेडमिक्स दैट्स नॉट द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ इट द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू फाइंड आउट वॉट एम आई लर्निंग इज इट रियली यू नो वॉट एवर आई लर्न इज इट रियली एक्जिस्टिंग इन द रियल वर्ल्ड सो वेर आर माई अप्लाइंग से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉट इज दिस या प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन राइट If it is projectile motion, where is projectile motion applied in day-to-day -day world? If you are studying something in school, try and sit, spend time in Google, you know, uh, libraries, wherever it is. Try and find out where is it applied. What is the practical application of any learning that you have got? Okay, it's an amazing way to spend time, and uh, since you are not inclined, no one is forcing you to do it. You'll be a lot interested to know, and you know what? As a consequence of this. without your knowledge you will start getting a lot more interest on studies because the moment you know where is it applied you will see that oh this is applied here probably this is going to be useful for me in my life let me study that your mindset will have a shift okay so its great hobby is to involve yourself you know uh, researching on application of everything see when there is a war between two countries there is one country launching a missile right and uh, the other country is trying to send a missile to intercept this missile in mid air so for this what is required you need to know what is the speed the velocity at which it is coming the trajectory right the trajectory of that missile a lot of things are required that only with that data the other country can intercept that missile in the mid air this is the entire concept of projectile motion the moment you learn something like this your study life become lovely is it not because you know where is it used you will start trying to relate it with the application similarly pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem is almost used everywhere you look at a table all edges of the table are very uniform is it not right you see all the edges are uniform even carpenters use pythagorean theorem without their knowledge that's the power of it so like this try and relate it to practical application of everything right guys i hope you guys are clear so first hobby is research on the application of every concept you are learning not forcefully you yourself are volunteering done okay second one hmm i hope many are doing it but this is a great way play brain games what are brain brain games because that really boosts your logical thinking play games like chess okay doesn't cost you much also play a lot of jigsaw puzzles in case you are not able to get something physically use uh, stuff like uh, you know online take them play this apps like skills it's a great memory game the advantage of playing brain games is it boosts your logical brain and also boosts your memory so try the the next hobby and you will get really you know into it you will start loving you will not you will get into the state of mind called flow you will not find time passing by at all just like that time will go that's the power of you you know playing brain games so app skills is a mobile app lovely for your brain exercising your brain got it excellent guys swimming hmm how many of you know swimming do you think swimming is important All right, majority of the population, all right, do not know swimming. Do you know that? But is it so important? Three fourth of the world is surrounded by water, my dear students, and not just because of that. I am telling you, swimming has a lot of lot of positive effects on you. This is the only game where you will really really exercise almost all parts of your body as you swim. This is one. Second. this is one exercise similar to you know uh, running which gets in a lot of oxygen inside you do you know the more is the supply of oxygen into your brain the better you study it's just surprising okay and third water is generally a natural source for refreshing a person's body and mind i hope you will agree when whenever you touch water you feel fresh right water is a great great resource for 
refreshing body and mind and swimming you deal with water all the time that's the best part of it my dear students so please if you do not know please please learn swimming great skill to know essential skill kind of a life skill it saves your life at times and not just your life others life as well when it's required right so learn that and ensure that you become stronger healthier and a better student also because your brain becomes good okay next one mm painting all right all of us try painting but do we know painting whether you know painting or not involving indulging yourself in painting is a, a you know has its own great benefits it is because your mind the moment you sit on painting your mind is set free correct you don't think about what you want to do you think very creatively start doing whatever it is this is one way of looking at it for a novice a professional the way they think when it come when, when they have learned painting the way they think about painting the way they use their mind will be totally different it's a great way to improve your creative thinking skills painting right guys okay excellent so painting i hope you guys are very clear with what is the next one so the next one is gardening so what uh, so how important is this do you know you feel a lot refreshed when you time spend time with nature whenever you look at greenery generally the color green has its own positive effects on you greenery always always soothes soothes your mind makes you feel a lot calmer refreshed okay and secondly involving yourself in gardening you feel that you are creating something whenever mind feels that you are creating something your confidence and self esteem is boosted a lot right imagine that you are a creator say there is a mobile phone if there is a difference between someone using a mobile phone and someone creating a mobile phone whenever you are a creator you are super confident and your self esteem is very high and that's when you start moving towards a leadership thought process my god does gardening have so many indirect effects on me yes guys spending time with nature refreshes you you feel that you're creating something as a result of which your mind starts becoming very very confident okay and you start thinking like a leader got it excellent guys right my dear students five things that we have dealt with today okay so first is application research on the application second is brain games right i think i told you third is swimming right fourth is painting and fifth is gardening five excellent hobbies you can involve yourself in hope you guys like this video my dear students click on like button and ensure you click on subscribe button all right please help us you know give you a lot more and more by being with us right so i hope you like the video thank you so much for watching until i see you in the next video this is sundar rabindranathan signing off my dear students bye bye